Hi, in this video, I will show you how to import recipients into Maxbook Mailer. First, let's launch Maxbook Mailer. Maxbook Mailer has four tabs, uh, sorry, five tabs uh, named Message, Recipient, Settings, Preview and Delivery. The second tab, Recipient, is where you um, manage all your recipient lists. Here, you can, for example, import lists or recipients. To do that, you just have to click on the Import button. The Import button has several choices. One of the most common way to import recipients into Maxbook Mailer is importing from a text file. So let's select text file for the moment. When you select this option, Maxbook Mailer will show you the Finder um, field selection window. On Windows, it would be the window field selection window. And there you can select a list. For this example, I have created several sample lists. We will try to import, for example, uh, one called uh, sample list unlined, tab delimited. It is a list of recipients that I have, I have made uh, voluntarily with uh, columns in you know, the wrong order, not the maximum Miller order. So let's import this list. Once you do that, you are presented with an import uh, dialog. In that import dialog, you have three columns. On the left, you have the records from the selected file, the file we just selected right now. On the right side, you have the target fields. They are the column names. And in the middle, a checkbox to activate or deactivate the importation of each, um, of each, um, of each field, of each record, sorry. So, in this case, you can see the company is in front of first name. First name is in front of surname. Surname is in front of company and email address is in front of email address. If you just uh, press on the import button at this point, uh, you will get the wrong data on, on the wrong places. I mean, the company data will go into the first name field and the first name data will go into the surname field and so on. So the, the first thing you have to do is to line up the, the record from the selected file with the MacBook Mailer field. To do that, you just have to select uh, the line. For example, this one is correct. This one is not correct. So this one, I can move it up twice. So company and command I in front. First name, surname, and email address. And in this case, we, have, we also have a reference um, column, reference field we want to import. So we have to check this. Once you have done that, you can go through the records in your file, clicking on the, uh, on the right arrow, and you will see the real data inside your file inside your file. For example, here you have the third record, the second record, the third record, and so on. And it is when you find out, oops, there is a problem here. You want to import uh, an entry that is of Jorge Garcia, and the E, the accented E, is not here an accented E, but uh, some garbage. So. Usually, when you run into this kind of problem, it is because of encoding. So, just below the, the list, you can select the encoding. By default, the encoding is set to none. In this case, just by experience, I would say this is UTF-8, Unicode. Oh. Now, the E appears correctly, and the U as well. Okay. You can go back and check again, all the tries they are all correct. Uh, in this case, we, have not, we haven't moved uh, the field delimiter because we, I, I did know uh, previously the file I created was a tab delimited file. A tab delimited file is a file where uh, each, uh, each uh, field 
in the record are deleted by tabs. Then uh, you can set if you want to use uh, the very first record if it exists. In this case, it's company first name, surname, mail address, reference. There are column names. If you want to use this first uh, record as to rename the list column, we can say OK. And then we can select an action if you want to open the list overwrite the list or update the list. Happen will simply add uh, the recipient to the um, select previously selected list. Overwrite will fully replace one list with, with, with a new one and update. Uh, with update, Matthew Miller will go through the list already selected and will update the information with the new list. It is done by email address. So in this case, uh, we will do happen because there is no it right now. When we are done, we just have to click on import. And boom, here is a list imported. First name, surname, company, email address, and the column reference properly renamed. And we can see Garcia was properly imported with the accentuated E. Okay, this is one way of importing recipient. But it is possible the list we had was in another format. For example, CSV, comma delimited file. So we will have a try with that format. When you open the import uh, window, by default the field delimiter is tab, but our file is CSV. It is not delimited with a tab but by a comma. So when you go the, when you see the preview, we will you will see all the fields are on the same line. This is completely incorrect. So we have to select the proper field delimiter. Here we have the choice between tab, comma, colon, and semicolon. In this case, it is comma. Just we just, we just need to say comma and boom, automatically it is updated here and we can see the information properly. Again, we have ah, no, we don't have the problem with the with the Garcia because uh, UTF-8 was um, uh, automatically um, selected uh, from the preview choice. Now, once uh, you are done with that, I will show you another thing. Um, when you have uh, created an import preset, if you think you will do this kind of, of import very, very often, uh, to avoid errors, you can save all the settings. You can do that, saving the preset. So you just select the option and uh, you, for example, you, you test preset. You can set that name, test preset, for CSV. And save. So next time you select that preset, you will uh, get exactly the same setting. Now we do the import and we get exactly the same result as before. To see, to show you how preset works, let's see again. Let's try the import of CSV again. We select uh, the unlighted CSV. We select the test preset. Oh, so I didn't. I didn't do. I. I am. Um, I. Um, I have. Uh, I. Chosen the right, the wrong file. Sorry, uh, it is this one. Okay. Now you have uh, the mm, the field properly lined up, the the proper field delimiter, the proper encoding, and the proper the proper action. Previously, I I I opened a tab file, so this is the reason why it was not properly lined up. Now. Um, it is true there are all over options to import uh, recipients. You can do it from the clipboard, you can do it from plain, from plain text from the address book, in that case the Mac address book, etc. etc. Uh, from the clipboard it is very easy. For example, you just have to copy some, uh, some email, for example, this bunch of emails, and you go, we go to import from the clipboard and it imports the email, okay? If that can be done also, 
to the participation menu. It's exactly, exactly the same. We can also import uh, recipients uh, from, uh, from plain text. Uh, we just have to pass here the text we want to process and uh, Matt Gumeller will try to pass the, the information and add the, the recipients to the list. Then we can also import from address book. So it is quite easy. We just have to select import from address book and select the group. In that case, there is only one group and line every field from the address book with MacDool fields. In this case, by default, there are all lines, line ups. And then we do the import. We have three records in this case. Also, there are uh, lots of cases where uh, you don't even need to go to uh, the import dialog. Uh, when the file you are trying to import is um, properly formatted, it is, uh, for example, uh, an export, a Max Dumeller export, uh, you just need to drag and drop um, the list directly into Max Dumeller and it will, will be imported. Uh, the same with, for him, for example, uh, for the line at uh, CSD. Oops, sorry, it, no, it doesn't work because CSD is not mm, really supported. Not, not a good example, but there, better use tab delimited. So this is the, the right, the right field. The list save as tab delimited uh, in, and properly line it up. We did it uh, just using the export function. So, so the list was that uh, list here was created selecting a, selecting a list and uh, doing an export and simply moving the field we want to export, selecting the encoding. In that case, it was UTF, UTF-8, etc., etc. Okay. Um, we, we have other ways to, um, to get uh, recipients into Michael Mailer. Uh, it is uh, from remote database. This is a quite complex way of importing recipients. It is extremely powerful, extremely easy to use once you are, you are finished with the setup. And it allows you to use uh, a, an online database SQL database directly into Maxwell Mailer. Uh, it supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, and OBDC. You just need, you just need to add the host, port, account ID, password settings, uh, the, the, SQL, the SQL query, columns, uh, text encoding. I believe we are, I will do a, a, a video just to show how this part of Maxwell Mailer works. Once you are finished with uh, importing a list, you can always save it. So there is a menu here to save currently as, to delete list, rename, whatever. And then you can select a, a, a list you have uh, saved before. This list was saved a few minutes ago. So I can perfectly uh, save it and select it later. I can add recipients to it. I can remove recipients to it. I can uh, save the result. I can do whatever I need. Okay. And if I have a list here with fewer data, and the, uh, no, sorry, if you have, we have a list here in Maxwell Mailer with fewer data than the list we are about to import, and we select the update function, uh, the list in Maxwell Mailer will uh, be updated with the new list. Uh, using the email address of each, uh, of, each, of each record. Okay, so that's it. This is how you can import recipients into Maxwell Mailer. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please uh, just ask. Thank you.